Uh, oh, how you guys doing today? We're, we're here uh, during vacation week. It's Wednesday. We're here in, uh, I've moved down a room here, 7B, Middle Street uh, School of Music. Just look at that. If you can get that right there. It's kind of the uh, Middle Street School of Music. That's where we're at here in Plymouth. Um, reach us on uh, Facebook, MiddleStreetSchool.com, I'm guessing. Um, but we're here in uh, the new room here. I think this is some of the latest technology. And uh, we're going to take a walk around here and uh, now look at some of this, some of these items here. Um, this is new stage gear. Um, it's all good. The monitors, I'm not sure exactly where the monitors go, but um, well, it's not, you know, no idea where the headphones plug in. They usually plug in on the back. I don't see any inputs for the headphones on this one. Now that might be a microwave. That's a whole different thing. Touch, touch screen on that thing. All right, well, enough of that. Um, so uh, I think what we'll do is the headphones must go somewhere. Well, that's where they go. The headphones must hang there. All right. Well, anyways, I'm gonna move on to this set thing here. This this is obvious what this item is. And that's where the music would go. The music would go right there. This is a conductor stand. I guess the conductor would stand. Actually, I'm kind of afraid to use this thing. Oh, see, that might be broken. See, that's not really working that well. Oh, I know. That's for the player pianos. That's what that is. You pump. There's your damper, and there's that. All right, so then we're going to move on here. Um, exhibit A. As we move on, I don't know if you remember that that scene. I don't know if it was the Wizard of Oz, mirror, mirror on the wall. And I can't see my reflection, so I must be a vampire or something, or something like that. And then we're going to proceed over here. This is the, uh, the fix-it shop. This is where we fix all our, our items. You've got your basic necessities. Um, you've got your keyboard monitor. You've got your keyboard. That thing, I don't know what that does. Um, got another television monitor here. And then we come over to, um, this is where we repair the keyboards. Some of these keyboards that work here. The dry monitor. It's a lovely view, really, of uh, Plymouth, as you can see. And um, if you want to, um, Maybe get a little closer over here. You can see. All right. So then, what we do when we're going to fix this is the segment we call the keyboard dentist. We're going to get these are tools that you'd use that any dentist would use. Standard Allen wrench. So we're going to we've got some uh, replacement keys. There's another one. Don't try this at home, folks. By the way, one of the things you do get, even if you do get hurt, toothpaste. It's very important. So. As, once again, as you said, this is the keyboard dentist. All right, I don't really know any dentist songs, but as you can see, we've got some keyboards that are missing keys. All right, we've got the hammers, the weights. So we've got extra keys, and it's really quite simple. You know, for those of you who, you know, have bad teeth and had a lot of sugar, these things will happen. So you've really got to figure out which key goes where. So these here might be replaced. That's a tough one. That one definitely needs a crown on that. Probably a full, uh, um, full root canal on that. Uh, some of these items here, that one's a whole other story in itself. But it's really quite simple. You just kind of, just kind of jam these guys in. And uh, no, maybe not. I might go to another keyboard. But they can also be used uh, as antennas. All right. Well, anyways, we'll the story for another day. So then what we're going to do is we're going to walk over to the piano area here and uh, demonstrate a few things that we do on the piano. This is how we try to warm up before uh, the masses come in. So if you could just give us a second here, I'm going to go run my hands under warm water in the bathroom and I'll be right back. And then hands together, of course. Right hand, thumb under, two with the left. black note. My analogy is it's kind of like, say if you're, um, well, this is the East Coast, that would be the Adirondacks. The D scale is 
much like the country, the United States of America. This is the East Coast. This is where we are in Boston. This would be LA. Right, this is the Adirondacks. And then you get out to the Great Plains, and then those would be the Rocky Mountains, and then there's California. All right, you may sink into the ocean at some point, but that's kind of my analogy. Um, do you do chromatics? All right, well, thanks. Thanks, you guys, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, thanks for not making uh, fun of the Mr. Rogers sweater, all right? See you guys next time.